Okay, now we will see the third technique in our study skills and that is mind mapping. Now, this is a very, very powerful study skill, very powerful study skill, but this mind mapping can be done only to subjects like you know languages and social as of now. Okay? Now, even that uh, first technique that uh, request free formula, taking notes okay, as of now you can only apply it for languages and social studies only, not for mathematics at all. Okay, math has nothing to do with the memory at all, math is purely based on logic. Okay? So, now we will learn this uh, next technique called the mind mapping and clustering. Okay? Now, we need first understand the official definition of the word map. What exactly is map? Okay? What do you mean by map? First understand the meaning of the word map. I know the, what you are getting in the map. When I say map, you are getting India map and world map or your particular state map or AP map or your place map. Okay? You are probably getting all that, right? But map just does not mean that. Okay. Now, okay, let me uh, just uh, show you a small illustration. Now, I will just show some small illustration. Just look at this. Now, tell me what is this? See, I think I, I actually did not even draw uh, completely the diagram. You can tell me what is this? What is this? It is a sun. Okay? It is sun. Okay? See, I, I did not even draw the complete diagram but you are able to like you know respond to it very fastly. I did not write S U N there, I did not write the spelling at all, but you responded to the thing very fast. Okay, now tell me what am I writing next? Okay? I am telling you what am I writing, check it out. I am saying not drawing, I am saying what am I writing. Okay, tell me what I am writing next. Okay, see this diagram. See? Can you tell me what is this? See, I did not even draw. See, I think you might have understood what is this. I just drew probably you know uh, 5 percent or 10 percent of the figure and you said flower right. Did I write F L O W E R there, but see you are still able to respond to that so fast. Okay? Okay, now let me give one more example. Okay? Tell me again what am I writing. Okay? Now, yeah, what is this come on tell me. Okay, right. Yeah. I did not even finish off the complete diagram yet. Okay? I think now you understand. You know? Just finished even, just outlines are finished, that is all. What is it? Yes, it is cat. Did I write C A T there? No, but still you responded so fast because all these are pictures. Right? Okay? Okay. Now tell me what am I drawing? Okay, all this is writing, no? Now I will be drawing something. Okay? Now, look at this. Okay? Tell me what is this. Okay? Yeah. See, look at the spelling. C O N Z E R V A T I V E. Hey, what is this? You did not catch up till now. Until I did not write the last letter, you did not tell me what it was. Why? This one, the pictures, you responded in just 5, 5 percent, 10 percent. But this spelling, until I did not write the last letter, you did not tell me what it was. Yes, because that is the brain language and this is not the brain language. Okay, got it. So, the literal meaning of the word map is picture, India map, India picture, world map, world picture or your particular state map, Maharashtra map, Maharashtra picture, AP map, AP picture, Tamil Nadu map, Tamil Nadu picture. See, that is it. Okay. So, the mind responds to the pictures also fast. If it is text, you got to read the complete page, then only you can know what exactly is that particular text. But pictures, when you see the picture in a flash, you understand what is happening there. There is a wonderful ancient Chinese saying which goes like this. It says, a picture speaks a million words. Did you understand this? A picture speaks a million words. How can one small picture speak a million words? Okay? Right. Okay, let me show you with again a small illustration. I will not write a single letter on the board. I okay? will just use some you know some drawing. Okay? 
tell me what is this ok, right ok now see what yeah, yeah tell me see I did not draw completely yeah, what is this, what is this see, so it is India map ok, I did not draw the complete India map it is South India map ok, right ok, yeah what is that see the down there what is that ok, yes I did not write the spelling of that Sri Lanka ok, tell me dots there see the dots I am just putting some dots there see, what is the dots there see. I did not try to spelling there, but you know what is it? It is Andaman Nicobar Islands. Okay, I will put dot somewhere here. See, I am putting dot somewhere here. See, yes, what is this? Yes, it is Lakshadweep Islands. Yes, okay, I will put dot somewhere here. See, what is this? What is this? Yes, yes, it is Maldives. See, did, did I write the spelling of Maldives? Okay, right now tell me what is the location here? What is the, yeah, what is this? See, I did not try the spelling. Yes, it is Goa. Okay, yeah. I will put, I will take slightly farther from this, yeah, tell me what is this, okay, here, see, yeah, tell me what is that, what is the dot there, see, it is Hyderabad, okay, just come down there, okay, yeah, yeah tell me what is that location there, yes, it is Bangalore, you got it right, okay, now, I slightly go up, okay, yeah, tell me what is that, yes, it is Mumbai, you got it right, okay, you know, one more dot, I will go down south, okay, yeah, see what is that, yes, it is Chennai, okay, one more dot, see, yeah, what is the dot there? Yes, it is Kanyakumari. Okay, one more dot, complete north. Okay, yeah, look at this. Yeah, what is this? Which uh, place this is actually trying to represent? Yes, it is Delhi. Did I write the spellings for all this? No, but still you are able to recall it fast because that is the brain language. The brain responds to pictures faster than text. So, the literal meaning of the word map, mind mapping is, how would the concept be if you could write your lessons like pictures, that is mind map, okay. you will not write all the lessons again like text, like in our request free formula, I said there is test, right? test means I said write the complete lesson, again try to reconstruct the lesson in your own words, right? so that means you must again not write the complete lesson, 3, 4 page lessons again in your own words, not, not required. Now, this mind mapping and clustering will help you out okay in condensing the lesson okay now what is the official definition of the word mind map mind map is the official definition of the word you know this mind map is you know the snapshot of a complete lesson okay uh, you know the complete lesson in a snapshot that's called mind map whatever the lesson may be now do you know about the world is the world big or small it is big, is it big or very big, very big, when such a big world can be put on a small A4 size paper like this, can't you put your lessons on a small A4 size paper, that is it, that is mind map, okay. like the complete lesson or the complete text of a pertaining to a subject in a, in a snapshot, that is mind map, okay. Okay. why talk about the world, let us talk about the solar system, right. Solar system it's so big, right? Now even you can draw that on a small piece of paper. See, like uh, usually uh, in the solar system, what we have first we have all rounds, right? Okay, then we have Sun, then Mercury, then Venus, then it goes up to Neptune, right? Now Pluto is not there, right? Anyways, so up to Neptune, all the eight planets, okay, from the Sun. See, so everything can be raised down to one small paper. Then why not your lessons? Even your lessons can be condensed into one small paper and that is mind map. Okay. So, mind mapping can be defined as a complete lesson or a concept in a snapshot. Okay. So, mind mapping is the art of condensing a big lesson or a, uh, or a big concept or a topic on a single leaf of paper. Okay. Now, uh, mind mapping can be done to almost all the topics, but which are only within your knowledge circle. That means, what knowledge you know you have, only for those topics you can do the mind map. That means, that ex the lessons explained by the teacher, only after the lessons are fed into your mind, you can create the mind map. Now, you can uh, create the mind map for India, right? For India, you know, you can, you can write so many things about India, right? Okay, now, okay, you can uh, uh, like, you know, uh, create mind map for something which is already known. You can talk about compute, right? You can create a mind map for computer. Okay. Now, can you create mind map for Tipperary? Tipperary. You know what is that? I do not know what is that. See, for the concepts which we do not know, 
we can't create mind maps okay so mind map should be can be only created to only those topics which are within your knowledge circle okay and the beauty about mind mapping is that once you do the mind mapping your knowledge circle will expand generally we will be knowing only up to uh, certain points about this given topic but after you do the mind map the knowledge circle will expand it will elaborate and you will be having more knowledge about that given lesson okay now uh, let me show you the technique how to create a mind map okay now just look on the monitor here okay you can see the you know like a small saying here it says i hear i forget so that's what happens in the class you just hear your lessons you don't listen also okay but what is hearing and listening there's a lot of difference okay now hearing is hearing like you know when you are you know you can hear so many things okay now hearing is hearing hearing with understanding is listening that's the difference between hearing and listening you don't listen to your lesson you the teacher is uh, giving the lesson you just hear her and then you talk with your friend you only listen to your friend you not listening to your teacher you just hearing her mind you so the same goes i hear i forget i see i remember so just now i explained to you in the concept of uh, concentration the same definition the ancient chinese saying i'm again repeating it i see i remember i do i understand in this concept of mind mapping we are doing all the three okay we are listening first we are not hearing okay first we are trying to listen to the teacher then the knowledge is going into our mind and that lesson we are creating a picture now through mind map that means your memory will be stronger regarding that lesson and the mind map since you are drawing you are doing it since you are doing it you have to create it on your own you will understand the lesson much better once you understand comprehension is much powerful than memory okay once you understand something it will be with you forever it will go into your system it will be a part of your life and that's it so here in the concept of mind mapping we go on a listen we go on a draw we going to see what i mean to say and we going to do okay so that's why if you do the mind map the knowledge goes into the mind directly okay you can just uh, see one small illustration here okay i going to create a mind map you see just uh, okay we'll take the same uh, just how we did the gram panchayat right okay let's create the mind mapping for that concept okay how to create mind map for that concept called the gram panchayat okay now just look at the board okay now first okay you can use any shape of your choice you can use a circle square rectangle triangle choice is yours but usually if you take it like blocks it will be better Yeah, mind mapping is something like a flow chart only, but flow chart is something like sequential. But mind mapping is slightly different. Okay, now see the main concept right in the middle. Okay, the main concept was about gram panchayat, right? Okay, now, okay, I am first teaching you clustering. Now, what is clustering? The meaning of the word cluster means grouping. Okay, generally the saying goes cluster of stars. That means a group of stars. Okay, so we are grouping all the main main points regarding that given topic. Okay. now see first the gram panchayat okay and to this block through with the arrows connect the next block see now this block connect to the next block what is the first keyword all the keywords only you have to connect yeah, the first keyword is yes water second is buildings third is roads see just link it like that then fourth it is schools fifth it is hospitals and sixth it is dispute see you got to create yes now this is actually clustering not mind mapping okay now how will this particular clustering becomes mind map i'll tell you later okay now that's it okay we have written all the keywords pertaining to the lesson okay and we just grouped it like a chart okay or a picture okay now to this main main blocks with what you have written the keywords instead of keywords if you draw pictures it becomes a mind map now here see instead of the first keyword water instead of water see now i paste a uh, tap this see tap see because the mind responds to pictures faster so gram panchayat and tap washing with water what does it link it links to supplying drinking water right now next see gram panchayat and building see instead of buildings i just you know put one buildings picture there see 
those link uh, building with the uh, link between the gram panchayat buildings okay the automatically you will get that now what is the link between like you know this okay can you see the broom there see instead of writing roads i just keep a broom there why they use the broom broom is used to sweep the roads right and that's see instead of maintaining roads and writing roads i'll just put a broom there that broom will represent maintaining roads right the next you see in the schools i just you know uh, put a small diagram see like a teacher teaching the children or some picture of a school building okay that's it see when you see this picture your mind responds to pictures faster right so it will answer in a jiffy like you know that the gram panchayat is linked to the schools now see gram panchayat and building see i mean sorry hospitals okay now what is the picture of hospitals okay in so hospital i put there an injection see gram panchayat injection what is the injection injection is linked to doctor or you can use a red cross or you can keep the stethoscope okay choice is yours okay so that's it so one of these if you show the picture from gram panchayat to this picture it will immediately say it's linked to the medicine or doctor right now for the last one is disputes disputes means quarrels right now instead of writing disputes there i'll put something which is like you see you can see the two swords crossed or you can say two boxing gloves punching together what does that indicate it it indicates fighting fighting means disputes right and that's it see now the entire lesson in six pictures and that's it okay now now we have finished one part okay now that's not the end i told you that you have to write the complete lesson okay now to this pictures you can write the sub keywords now the sub keywords you can't write like pictures so what you do you just you know take a different shape okay like this and then there write the masala what you had see for water pure filtered chlorinated see so link it like that okay for the buildings see gram panchayat office building primary school veterinary hospital library anganwadi see so to that picture link all this the next maintaining roads okay what are the sub keywords linked to that okay yes yeah, special staff sweeping roads cleaning the garbage cleaning the drain system maintaining hygiene see so these keywords are linked to that one okay the next one schools here see so what are the sub keywords linked to the schools okay now here you can see now it's a free uh, uh, like you know education okay it's free education then uh, they have a free books then they have free uh, uniform then they have free mid day meals and scholarships for the backward classes and the needy see so school the picture of school and link to all these words okay next the injection okay there's a hospital right now what are linked to that see now link it to like uh, free medical checkup okay and free medicines and free vaccinations for the children or free immunization for the infants right right now finally disputes see what are the disputes okay property disputes financial disputes personal disputes petty disputes land disputes property disputes so what are like you know that's it and that's it see after you do the mind mapping the entire concept gets into your mind better and now they may ask any question about the topic you are ready to answer that like they may ask in bits also like you know the gram pancha supplies dash in the village so you know it's water in the village they run dash for the children they run primary schools for children okay they provide dash for the disease you know they provide free medication for the disease right they settle dash disputes is it not see whatever whatever they ask about that lesson everything you can answer just like that now if you want you can write like a short answer you can write like a big answer it's all in your hands so this is the concept called the mind mapping okay so now mind mapping can also be extended to even science also okay so instead of you know uh, like uh, writing like text you can just take the main main pictures of uh, the given topic and then uh, when you do the mind mapping your knowledge circle also will improve and then since you have used all the three abilities okay so listening seeing and doing okay you have listened to the lesson in the class you draw you have drawn the mind map on your own i mean you did it you do you understand so because you did it perfectly you will understand the concept better okay so this is a concept called mind mapping using which we can also write big big lessons in a small map like thing okay 
Now, these mind maps are not taught in the schools. So, you must maintain a separate book, especially like a record book. For every lesson, you got to create your own mind map. Okay. Mind map is also a kind of fun, it is a fun way of learning. Instead, you sit before the book and by heart for hours together and you know forget the things after some time. This is a better way to remember the lessons for longer periods of time. I would rather remember it forever like you know, because the pictures what you see, the movies what you see, you will never, never forget in your lifetime right. Similarly, you are drawing all the pictures in the mind map and since you are doing the mind mapping, this lesson will never ever erase of your brain. Okay? So, this is a concept called the mind mapping.